gradient intercept formula. Now the formula we formula we use is here on the right. It's the one that says y equals mx plus b. And in any linear equation, gradient intercept formula. Now whenever you have a linear equation, quite often they are written in this form. And you'll see that in example one below. And what you'll notice is that you've got the pronumeral m and you've got the pronumeral b as well as x and y. But you might remember from earlier that m stands for gradient and b stands for y-intercept. Alright, so look at example one. It says use the gradient intercept method to sketch the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. So if we look at y equals 2x plus 1 and above it, write the gradient intercept formula being y equals mx plus b, you'll notice something. You will notice that m equals 2, because they match up, and that b matches with 1, so b equals 1. So from this we know that our gradient must be 2, since m stands for gradient, and our y-intercept must be 1. Alright, now that's enough information to go and actually do a rough sketch of our graph. And when you do it, you always start with your y-intercept first, and then you do your gradient last. Okay, so if our y-intercept is 1, that means that our line intercepts at this point here. It intercepts the y-axis at 1. Okay, now the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to look at the gradient. A gradient of 2 basically means, if I start at this point, if I move across one square, I would go up 2 because it's a gradient of 2. Because it's a gradient of 2, I can move across 1, up 2. Across 1, up 2, like so. Or I could go back 1, and because I went backwards, I would go down 2 instead. Back 1, down 2. And you can see you've created this straight line. Let's draw a line over this to show our nice straight line. Arrows at either end. 